Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design right out of the big book of scroll saw woodworking by Fox Chapel Publishing. More than 60 projects, and it features the best of scroll saw woodworking and crafts magazine. This book is by Fox Chapel Publishing, and they sent it to me, so thank you for that, guys. We've already done one amazing project out of this book, meaning the fretwork corner shelf that was themed to birds that we made a few weeks back. I've already got the pattern selected, photocopied, and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and the design and picture of the project in question comes from page 144 and it is a freestanding fretwork photo frame. Intricate details highlight this vintage Louis the 15th photo frame by Richard Prieter and I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly but there you see the amazing design in it. Fretwork is a style that is mostly associated with the Gilded Age and also with the scroll saw tool itself and I think everybody who has a scroll saw eventually will do a fretwork project once they get the confidence under their belt to do a lot of the details here and there's a great article on how best to go about the project. Of course we're going to go start to finish in this project making this photo frame and on the following pages is the full size patterns and again I've already got them photocopied and a list of materials here. We're I stack cut the brackets and when I photocopied it I did cut out the cross brace and I had room to lay it in the middle of the design here so we wasn't wasting this wood thought that was really cool and then the rest of the project is on the following pages but really really cool we're gonna have a lot of fun making this and do some more fretwork sawdust out here in the workshop once again I've already got everything photocopied to its full size and attached the material with clear packing tape I've also went to the copy place and got some 4 by 6 photos printed out that is what this photo frame is for and I've got a good mind which photo I'm gonna select for the project but really really cool and since everything is prepared let's head over to the drill press draw all the pilot holes required so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling And over here on the drill press, we are taking a small drill bit and drilling out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And with this being a fretwork style project, there is a multitude of interior cuts. But once we get over to the scroll saw, we will take our time and get them all done. I am using a number five ultra reverse tooth blade for all of the cutting on this project. And it will cut through all of the material exceptionally well with a minimal chip out which is always good when it comes to sanding. And as you see here, we're beginning with the stacked cut pieces that are the brackets. And we will cut both of those out at the same time to make sure they are symmetrical. And the blade does fine with stack cutting as well as the single layers of quarter inch material we will cut later on. The fretwork style of scroll saw projects is a very beautiful and intricate design that is amazingly done and it goes back to the origins of the scroll saw itself and of course that gilded and Victorian era where even simple things like a photo frame like this had just an amazing amount of detail on it and just an elegance about it. I am taking my time and letting the blade do the work and if you're gonna do a fretwork project and think you're gonna just fly through it that is the wrong approach and it will show in the final work that you do as always like I just said I'm taking my time here and I'm lost in my world of good music and sawdust I think once a scroll sawer gets accustomed to using a scroll saw they will eventually try a fretwork project either the corner shelves like we've done previously or a style similar to this. And now you see we are cutting out the single layer of quarter inch material that makes up the frame itself. And before we get to assembly I will let you guys know that I do not have the class to go in this project but it does hold a 4x6 picture and I will probably go to the dollar store and pick up a 4x6 frame just for the glass at a later date but just letting you guys know that if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on all my social medias under the artisan pirate name I'd really appreciate the support cutting out the cross brace here and I'm glad that I was able to fit it in the middle here and get to use that material that would have otherwise been wasted space. And now we can proceed to do the final internal cut here, 
before releasing all of the pieces from the waste wood. And it took me around an hour and 15 minutes or 20 minutes to cut this entire project out. Again, I'm just taking my time and listening to the good music and doing some good thanking. I think I do my best thanking when I'm sitting here at the scroll saw and just lost in my world where I can zone out. But now we are doing the final outside perimeter cuts and following the cut line to release all the pieces from the waste wood. And once they are cut out, I will set them to my right on the workbench. And as I've said before, I love having the L-shaped workbench with the scroll saw here on this part of the L where I can easily set stuff aside and continue on working. And as you see, we're using that same blade to cut out everything. I did not break a blade on this project and I only used two blades. But again, there is a lot of cutting on this and you might want to take a break if you're feeling fatigued. And now we are cutting out the brackets that will hold the backer on where the photo frame will float. And that's one thing I love about this photo frame is that it's not going to need no brad nails or tabs to hold the photo in. It just free floats in the frame itself. But cutting out the final piece here. And we will step over to the workbench and remove all the pieces from the waste wood. And we will proceed to sanding. I am using 180 grit sandpaper from Klingspore and my palm sander here. And sanding the front and back of all of the pieces. And I'll do touch-up sanding off-camera if it's ever needed. And I'll sand the support brackets here by hand with 180 grit sandpaper and then proceed to assemble everything with CA glue and activator and spring clamps, giving everything about five minutes in between each glue up to dry just to make sure everything is cured. And I looked at the book for reference to see where to line up the backer board here and glued it down and waited for it a few minutes and then came back and done the final assembly with the brackets and the cross brace here and it's a very straightforward assembly process and once that dried for around five minutes we gave it a good coat of Minwax wood stain being sure to saturate everything with the sponge brush here and then we will wipe off all the excess with a scrap piece of t-shirt material and hang it on a hook to dry for a couple hours and then come back and give it several coats of rust-oleum clear gloss for a finish and then all that was left to do after that dried was to add the photo and I hope you guys like the photo that I have picked out. And here we have the completed fretwork picture frame cut out completely on the scroll saw and it came out amazing and once again it showcases the scroll saw's unique versatility to make amazing pieces of art like this picture frame here and again this is the fretwork style and that is what is commonly associated with a scroll saw and it throws it all the way back to the gilded age the victorian era you know to where everything just had a style and elegance to it and even the most basic things like a picture frame had amazing detail and craftsmanship added to it just to show off everything but really really cool it took me around an hour and change to scroll everything out again with my years of experience on the scroll saw I've got my own speed and how I can produce projects and everything I do think if you're going to approach a fretwork style project like this and you think you're going to fly right through it that would be the wrong approach to go about things Fretwork projects are meant to be relaxing pieces of art or more therapy pieces to where you can sit there and zone out and listen to some good music or do some good thinking while making incredible works of art like this. I know there's those huge 
um, domed clocks in the fretwork style that people cut out and I've seen those in person and they are amazing and this is just a sampling of the fretwork style I use the basic one quarter inch material I pick up that's readily available at Lowe's and I would love to see this made out of some exotic woods maybe maple or cherry or even walnut to showcase the photo that's in it and I use the Minwax wood stain and rust oil and clear gloss is my basic finish here and it still came out amazing and the photo we used here is my artisan pirate promo picture when I got all the photos developed this was the picture that I knowed had to go in here when I was prepping the project just to show everything off and what I really love about this frame is there's nothing on the back that you have to tap in or slot in to put the picture in it again it just slots right down in there in this little cavity here that's thick enough for the piece of glass again I do not have the glass on hand yet I will be getting it in a basic 4 by 6 picture and it just slots down in there easily with no tacks or brad nails having to hold it in so that's really cool and really easy if you would ever want to swap them out or anything i think this would be a great frame to make for someone and give it to them as like a wedding gift an anniversary a graduation maybe a prom picture just an added touch of elegance to make a picture and elevate everything to the next level but really really cool once again the pattern for this project came from the big book of scroll saw woodworking by fox chapel publishing and i will leave a link down in the description box below where this book can be picked up and I'll link you guys to it and also thank you Fox Chapel Publishing for the amazing book this is the second pattern and project that we have done out of the book and it is the fretwork style so really really cool I had a lot of fun making this project and I hope you guys like watching me make this project if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon